This is for the ones who say we will make it. This is for the ones who say we will take it. Never let you down, you the real reason. This a billion dollar smile never came easy. This might be the one couple label deals. This might give me keep from paying a bitch a meal. And yes, I brought a gang call it duty up. Billion dollar bees out from California. Oh, that's what you mean, fuck your whole opinion. This is what I bleed, I'm the fucking illness. Buy a couple countries for my little junior. Yeah, this is not a dream, this is how we're living. This is for the team, cause we too legit. This is for the ones that would never quit. Never let them see you throw it all away. Get your money up and flip it, let it increase. Crazy. I would just run away. Working on my crap, be famous one day. Now I got a team running in place. Yeah, it's all cash, ain't no Billy J. This is for the ones who say we will make it. This is for the ones who say we will take it. Never let you down, you the real reason. This a billion dollar smile never came easy. This is for the ones who say we will make it. This is for the ones who say we will take it. Never let you down, you the real reason. This a billion dollar smile never came easy. My eyes sitting low, smoking on some cake. She rides sitting low, loading up the tank. Ain't man any hater, make him all the rich. She ain't got no paper, so there is no case. Pay, payback is a real bitch. I'm an outlaw to the president. Black skin, that's melanin. Yo, girl, love her dick. Ride her out of my London house. Feel good when them tits out. She loves to make love outside. This the life that I dream about. Smoke lungs and my lungs high. Gas mask, this west side. Build a finger to the five. Oh, four hundred years of this black life. Don't matter, my four five. Bone thugs in this two pot. Outcast in this Eminem. Yeah, that's the code that I live by. I would just to run away, working on my crap, be famous one day. Now I got a team running in place. Yeah, it's all cash, ain't no Billy J. This is for the ones who say we will make it. This is for the ones who say we will take it. Never let you down, you the real reason. This a billion dollar smile never came easy. This is for the ones who say we will make it. This is for the ones who say we will take it. Never let you down, you the real reason. This a billion dollar smile never came easy. Dollar smile never came easy. This might be the one couple label deals. This might give me keep from paying a bitch a meal. And yes, I brought a gang call us duty up. Billion dollar bees out from California. Oh, that's what you mean. Fuck your whole opinion. This is what I bleed. I'm the fucking illness. Buy a couple countries for my little junior. Yeah, this is not a dream. This is how we're living. This is for the team, cause we too legit. This is for the ones that would never quit. Never let them see you throw it all away. Get your money up and flip it, let it increase. Crazy. I would just to run away. Working on my crap, be famous one day. Now I got a team running in place. Yeah, it's all cash, ain't no Billy J. This is for the ones who say we will make it. This is for the ones who say we will take it. Never let you down, you the real reason. This a billion dollar smile never came easy. This is for the ones who say we will make it. This is for the ones who say we will take it. Never let you down, you the real reason. This a billion dollar smile never came easy.
My eyes sitting low, smoking on some cake. She rides sitting low, loaded up the tank. Ain't many the haters making more the rich. She ain't got no paper, so there is no case. Pay, payback is a right. real bitch. I'm an outlaw yeah. to the president. Really? Black skin, mm -hmm. that's melanin. Oh, Yo, girl, love her dick. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 let's stop now. <laughs> let's go, Ed. We here. Are we here? We live? Okay, people. You right here. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to. Hey. I'm about to see it. I'm very, very conceited, bro. So got. My own light, yeah. So got his own motherfucking. Make a bougie light up in here. There what go. you know? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Nah, nah, this, 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 go Where'd you get this at? Uh, yep, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I've been, I've been going live a lot at the crib. Well, uh, shit, they, they need to see this. Y'all can't see this. I know. Oh, what? Yeah, there you go. There you go. strobe light in this? Hey, hey man. Who we do, bro? Let's get this in right now. All right, let's go. Right. Y'all gotta see yeah, yeah. this. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm seeing. Yeah. I, I didn't want to bring it out to last. That's what I brought last minute. So I can uh, yeah. let you see. It's a bright ass light. I tell you what. Yeah. Light, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. See, you Dang, look, so. You look different now. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm at the... Well, no, just no, I don't like this. You love like black, now you blur. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm saying. Now that is yeah. tight though. That is seriously dope. Yeah, but that's good for like this. What's this up, Gas stuff. Mask Tribe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play? Powered by Beacon Radio. Thank you, Cuzzo, again, man. I know I'll be bugging you. You know what I mean? They be like, bro, send me the her, stuff enough time. Send me in enough time. Don't send it, boy. And I'll be like, you know. It'll change in a few seconds. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. That's why I'm so thankful that the technology works as fast as it do. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I'm glad you're better, man, because I know your ankle. Yeah. I mean, you sent me that picture a couple weeks ago. Ugly. Yeah. That's why people. That's it's, why I, I don't want to feel when you got up. Like, what, what was the slow motion like? Because uh, you had to brush yourself. Who saw? First of all, who saw you fall? Nobody seen me fall. So it's late at night. Okay, so you had to brush yourself off and just kind of like no, have was, a moment it, it to get up. Moment. Okay. And um, I was rushing to the car. Uh huh. And uh, she went to do some hurling like I was 15. Raccoon detect the next up. That back leg said, You're not 15 no more, brother. We, wow. we, not, do, we not doing this right now. Not gonna happen. Damn. Hmm. Not gonna happen. What's up? Thank you for all the likes, everyone. Yeah, they going Damn, crazy man. right now. Thank you, people. Crazy. You know what I mean? Man, so. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> what? Did you stay home or did you go to the hospital? Or? Nah, man, I was in the house for like a week almost, man. Like, but it, no, I ain't but it, 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 it wasn't it wasn't too bad at first. I think you like walked it off no, and then you got to the I, crib. It was I crazy. First, when I first went down, brother, damn, I was down. Like, damn. I mean, I, you know, you know, when you fall, you know, you bounce up, you look around, ain't nobody looking. What you, you know? do? What you <laughs> do? Absolutely. To heal it? What Absolutely. You, take to heal it? you know what? I took some Episode. arnica. Okay. Uh, well, I did the ice. The the the. the uh, Wrapping it, elevating it, but uh, one of my clients gave me this stuff called Arnica, A R E N I C A. Okay. Love takes, all the hearts. It takes the swelling away, it takes the pain away, it loosens up the muscles. Okay. I mean, like, I'm instantly, instantly, you know, and uh, so I was just like, man, I was grateful, brother. Cause damn, was, damn, that's crazy. Look well, at you ain't break it. I'm glad you ain't break, break it though. That could be a whole yeah. different story right there. We wanna be here, you broke it. But the athlete in Give you kind of kind of got it together in a in a moment, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I was trying to get get to it. I got it on videotape. I sprung up like whoop. When I was walking back, I was looking at him like, ooh, that's a for real limp. That's a for real limp. Are you recorded? Well, you know, I got cameras that record. All oh, that's, right, that's right. That's right. That's so, right. That's so, right. I was just that's like, right. man. So oh, I, I, so, I so I so want to see the camera, bro. I want to see you, you ball down so crying. He I don't think he told the whole story. He, nah, he started probably shared a moment. He's crying I for a second. I got it just to see if it was funny to me. It wasn't even funny. I was like, damn, it ain't even the blues. I was on recording the show. They, the can they yeah. hear? Can, can they hear you? Yeah, yeah, right. They can hear you, right? They should be able to hear me. Y'all right can hear, hear him. Can hear yeah, they can hear him. Thumbs up if y'all can hear him. If y'all can hear, feel what he's saying. What happened with his ankle? He was hurt, people. He was hurt. But 
I'm glad you're so much better now, man. You know what I mean? I'm glad Absolutely, that, bro. You know. I mean, I mean it ain't like a hundred percent I saw you walking around you know, a little looking around, you know. No, nah, he got sandals on right now, cause I know what that is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't wear those shoes. You got sandals on. You got a nigga with sandals, you he know it's real, you know what I'm saying? Man. <laughs> down. Yeah. So fast it was like shit. And then I was like, okay. I'm thinking it's gonna be one of them spraying two, three days. Shake it off, be cool, yeah. So I woke up the next morning. Damn. Pain in the motherfucker. Flow. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Say this shit ain't working. <laughs> 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 I can't even move this motherfucker. Man, I'm yeah. <laughs> You know what um I'm hey, you know what I saw this uh this week? What's that? I saw something really dope. What's that? I'm a big fan yeah. of the Clark Sisters. I, I need to watch that. I, I need to watch that. Oh lady was like yeah. The Clark Sisters No no no, she sent me the uh uh um Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, Jamie Foxx put it out. Yeah. She had seen me uh, from Jamie Foxx. And a- anyway, I ended up seeing it and I was like, wow. So late that night, I ended up saying, let me really check this out to see if it was really like hit home. Yeah, yeah. And I freaked me out. All these people are holistic. I grew up in a very holistic home. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, my grandmother was like, like, pretty much it was more praise music the whole way. Yeah. Shout music the whole night. Mm-hmm. So the Clark Sisters was like, like an epic thing. Okay. Yeah. But I didn't know it was that deep. Like how like her mother went up to like this like high art office and she talk you know told all these bishops that mm-hmm. you know what I mean uh, she wanted to be able to do certain things and they wouldn't let her do it because of the status of what they became. They did. You know, I, I think they did the Grammys or something like. Oh, that. they they was boom. Yeah. yeah, they did the Grammys and you know these high priests or whatever in this big political church world and yeah. oh it was bad but it was great to see it was a yeah. great film people if y'all can go see the Clark sisters on <clears throat> lifetime it's really dope it's crazy yeah, really they, really dope they, they kind of my, my family through marriage yeah yeah through the Clarks yeah you know what I'm saying so speaking of music I have a a great album that I've been working on yes sir yes sir yeah you know what I mean? How many songs you got on the album? I got like 16. Oh, that's dope. Okay. But you know what's so crazy? I, I end up seeing so many other songs that I didn't even like thought of. Like, oh, shit. I got like, uh, Is It Love? You know? Um, songs you record already. Like, right, I got a couple right. of the album like, too. Dang. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, I like Caribbean songs. Mm-hmm. I like reggae songs. Well, you, whatever you, know you feel. What I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like all types of stuff. You know, I'm, I'm really a melting pot type of musician. You know what I mean? I'm not like your typical. Uh, one lane genre type of person, you know what I mean? I like um, hillbilly music, country. Mm-hmm. Like this, this album is pretty much a that style, like bar music type of like. Uh, you're a chameleon in that sense, though. Yeah, you're, you're jump yeah. into that world and create something in that world yeah. that a lot of artists don't do. Yeah, yeah. I tell a lot of artists if they wanted to do like a battle, an uh, Instagram battle, like I'm totally down for it. Could you battle? Some, could, you, could you battle somebody off country music? I would love to see somebody love battle, to battle somebody. off country oh, music, a different love, beat hey, music. <laughs> That'd be dope. That could train. That's a train you should start right now. Listen, I challenge I you love, to wrap off this beat right here and still be dope as hell. I would love to battle someone off of blue uh, bluegrass. Okay. You know bluegrass. Yeah, is? absolutely. Um, I would love to battle someone off of um, the rug, the 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 washboard. Okay, mm-hmm. these are down south yeah. going home. Yeah, yeah. Like we gonna go there. Let's go there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Real stuff. Um, yeah. There's a lot of uh, playing the cowbell. Okay. Nigga, we could do the cowbell. Really? You know what I mean? I fuck the cowbell. Up. What? You know what I mean? Man, we was in church. That's okay. what I'm saying. Like people don't know, understand. Church was like everything, bro. Uh-huh. Church was like, if you had skills yeah. on drums as a musician, if your skills was on, you was playing. Yeah, absolutely. They let you play, right? Ain't nobody bugging. They go, hey, baby, let baby get up there and do do his thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Period. If you good. I mean, if you good. I mean, I mean, if you I mean, better not suck. Yeah, you better be good. You better not suck. Did, if you suck, <laughs> you know what I mean? You'll never get your ass it, It's done. It's done. <laughs> You're never going up there again. When you start playing drums, would you make your beats on the table before you start playing drums? Because I knew I had you to know what? figure hey, it out like grandma, that. Grandma, if you hear, you know what I'm saying? this is a great, I'm glad you said that. You yeah. know what? Because I was talking to my grandma, and my grandma had mentioned that. 
She yeah. was like, you know, when you we was talking about why people are blocked in their lives and why they can't get through certain things yeah. because of traumatic experience that happened when they were younger. Absolutely. And they don't understand why they can't get past mm -hmm. or and it takes a psychiatrist or whatever. You yeah, know what absolutely. Mean? I was inspired from a movie that, in you know, inspired me by. So, um, but my grandma was talking about that. She was like, "I gave you those wooden spoons, and you took them over there. You start playing on the pots and pans." And my great grandmother would say, "No, don't get them. He gonna beat up my damn pots and pans like mother." So I, that's where it kind of like started from. Absolutely. I can but see then that. after that, it kind of led into like a therapy session, nigga. Like, yeah. Oh, nigga, I was you went away and got it in. Yeah. Oh, well, I was putting yeah. the drums up just to beat them up. Like, you know what I mean? So you had drums happy at the time, though. Grandma. It's her birthday. Today. Oh, happy birthday, birthday, Grandma. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. That's good, man. Yeah, I'm. I'm my bad. I kind of stalled for a sec. I'm looking at the uh, messages right now. Ebony Dawson. It's typical. Um, yeah. I, I can't <laughs> see that. <laughs> He's like, that's typical, Biz. That's typical. You, you always do that. <laughs> But yeah, man, look, so coming from drums, you know, that's why I end up kind of like letting from making music and okay, stuff okay. like that. So yeah, um, man, I'm kind of versatile. I'm a, I'm a very crazy chameleon, you know what I mean? Uh, we're going to play some records here tonight, you know, kind of give you guys a little reference of um, this year, this year, people, this year, mm -hmm. I'm dropping three albums. Woo! Three. Booyah! Okay, I got three. I like that. I got. I mean, I got to step it up. Then I got to drop some comedy albums. You go check. Go check. Go check. 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 So you should go old school with the comedy album. Check. Go, come with your comedy and come with some beats behind. It. Have beers to make yeah. you some beats. Mm. Some shit. You gotta be thinking about that right now because that's what that, that, that was that's trending right yeah. now. I need to do some stuff like that. Yo, yeah, for real. Yeah, like I it was definitely like this year. I'm definitely doing, not say, trying to say, oh, I'm doing, I need to give people what's already been done before so I can give them, like, an update mm -hmm. of today, you yeah. know what I mean? And I feel like I have so many records that I wrote in the past, like, what, two years, three years? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I write all the time, bro. I'm writing. Like, what, 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 what inspires you to write? Is it a, is it a moment or do you say, all right, I'm going to write music today? Is it something that hits you? Is it, oh, I'm going to write on it? But you wake up today, I say, I think I need to write some music today. You know what? It generally happens like that, and then it doesn't. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm kind of like, it's, yeah. It's, it's different it's, ways, different times, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With me, okay. it's different. If, even though if I'm like at nighttime, if I'm chiefing or something, I'm in the car. you feeling good. Back, a moment hits you. It's going you know down. I mean? And I don't have anything else on my mind to do. Yeah. Or like do some like internet stuff for a client or like, you know what I mean? Uh go buy some stuff or, you know what I mean? If I'm not, if I don't, I have to be free in my head, you know? Mm -hmm. If I'm not free in my head, I'm generally, like, doing something else. Yeah. So, like, writing do come when I'm only in that moment. Yeah. Or, well, like, okay. when I'm writing, like, uh, like, a lot of times I'll come up with the experiences, right? Yeah. I'll use, like, an experience that I've had, like, you know, something very... You just gotta talk about it. Huh? Experience you need to bring like some like yeah. that that I can't talk about in person yeah but in music you get it you yeah, get absolutely. what I mean yeah yeah and I don't think a lot of people understand that I think that's the great part about real artistry or musicianship that we can it's like a Picasso picture or something yeah. like that I don't know what, tell a story in right, your own your own way right, you yeah know what I mean and I don't know what he was really thinking when he you know what yeah. I mean I do the same thing with comedy so yeah, I get it yeah yeah, yeah you know what I mean? even through painful situations I try to make it funny yeah you know what I'm saying and people laugh at my pain and I like that because I had to figure did you out like that? did you like that um that special that came out about that with Kevin, laugh at my pain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Because you have to laugh at your pain. You have to really meet. Because, you know, what you're going through, it, it, you as an artist understand this. Everybody else is going through that same thing or experience that moment. But so you comedian, tell the story. Well, don't don't get the people, don't, don't get the people no, 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 no bull. Why? Because I com as a comedian, to sit on the stage mm -hmm. with one mic, yeah. And yourself yeah. and the crowd, mm -hmm. and to entertain that and keep them laughing is a whole nother level than me playing drums in front of a crowd. Yeah, 
it's it's like it's like for me it's like almost like hyping up a party and you bring them to your first of all you can't go on stage and start telling jokes right away because you go bomb because they don't know who the fuck you are you gotta establish yourself and it observe how many years how many years what's going on doing that comedy I've been acting for over ten years so, comedy so fully so you would say if someone say what type of entertainer are you you would go with acting period no no I'm I'm sorry acting first you would say acting first then comedy or comedy then acting. Mm, that's a good one. Uh, I would say acting first, then comedy. But most comedians kind of get upset with that because Fuck because but because for me, I I, <laughs> I I I I learned to tell my story. I learned to tell what I'm going through because I couldn't do it in acting. Don't be I a had, sellout. No, no, I had to read scripts Stick and to your guns. No, yeah, oh, 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 absolutely, absolutely. But comedy allowed Young me. Grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> no, but comedy allowed me to express myself more than I ever could in acting. Acting, I'm portraying a character. I'm, I'm portraying somebody else. I'm doing somebody else's thing. But I've always been a dope host. It always been a dope comedian. Once I jumped in, it just been kind of just like second nature. I didn't have to think about it. I could think about the joke, jot it down, and right. just kind of put it out, and just kind of worked. Well, what about the community of comedians? Because you know how community of comedians is, is a whole nother world. It's a, so many comedians. A lot of bitter comedians. A lot of old school comedians that ain't made What's it yet. What's the typical... How long you been doing it? Com uh, comedy? Right. I've been doing comedy for like at least over nine years. Okay. What's the majority that you would say that you see in your world of entertainment comedy? What do you mean? Like the majority of typical people. What type of people are you? A lot of bitter people. What phone is that? I have a call. We have a call. I have a call. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Hello? 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 Hello, this is Ebony Dotson speaking. Hey, Ebony. Hi, are you guys on the show right now? Yeah, yes. yeah, we see your comments right now. Oh, okay. Um, can I say something about the part when he was like, um, "What do you, what do you call yourself, actor, uh, actor, um, comedian?" Yes, please. I will hear that. Um, I consider you an entrepreneur. I can, and consider you an entertainer. I consider you a performing artist. It can mm -hmm. be broad, you know, but I like to call myself an entrepreneur or a businesswoman. I like that. I like that. Entrepreneur or entertainer, correct? Yeah, because when you're an entrepreneur, you're just basically running a business, and then entertainment is a business. Absolutely. You know, there's a money side to it, there's an art side to it, there's a networking side to it, mm -hmm. there's a marketing side to it. It's like it's a business. All at once. I, I, I would consider myself an entrepreneur. So you a comedian and um, actress as well? I'm actually an actress, mm -hmm. and I help people find jobs who are in destitute situations, such as people who are homeless and people who have dealt with drug problems or mental illness. Mm -hmm. And I sit them down and I type their resumes. Actually, I was in the middle of typing a resume hey, you know for what? someone. Um, You're a blessing. You, a, you need to call yourself a blessing. That's, that's, what, that's, yourself. that's what the Dirty Harvey podcast is about. I like that. We bring these weird oxymorons together. Like, like you're a entertainer, you know what I mean? But on the flip side, like, you help some of the most, you know what I mean, Help, helpless people on earth. like they're not helpless but I'm just saying like you're able to give them that guiding light you know what I mean to like take it to the next level right like mm -hmm. I had it like so honestly you know, let me tell you something real Ebony. Oh, let me tell you something real, real 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 for real look I'm not your I didn't know how to do a lot of those things right until I went to the little uh, work source center right on the corner of the you know block went up there now I'm a musician I, you know, I tour, blah, 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 the whole nine, right? We can say, like, he don't need this. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to, like, to actually go get a job. Like, when it came down to, mm -hmm. I was so used to, of, I was so used to being a performer so much that when corporate America, like, you know, really started talking, like, hey, you got to actually get a job and pay bills. <laughs> it costs to live, little yeah. one. So I had to get a resume. I had to build this. So I didn't know anyone. And then I went down to the uh, Work Source Center. And the dude, you know. That's an every, that's every, hood, that's every hood, too. Well, yeah. I don't. This one, they moved just, mm -hmm. like, as a current update. Okay. They, they moved this one. But the guy that worked there, his name was Anthony Saints. Anthony Saints. Oh, anyway. Very, very great dude, and he hooked it up. I mean, and from then on, I've been set. I've been having, I think the job I got after him was a 
thirty dollar an hour job. You know what I mean? Wow! And, uh, congratulations. Yeah, yeah cool. I mean That's that right. was for teaching for schools. You know, drumming and yeah, it was dope. So. It helped me out a lot. That's I just didn't, you know, like you said. And then, and then you got a job in your field. Oh, but guess what he did on the hard, side, though. though. Guess what? what he did on the side. What's that? A rapper. What are you doing? You, He's a rapper? He was a rapper. Oh, wow. And so wow. I was like, what? Oh, what, what, see? what, what yeah. would you have known? Yeah. Like, yeah. I caught yeah. him at a day of work. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I would have never caught him in Hollywood performing. You know what I mean? He would have been like, oh, no, you biz. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a total different, like, so that's what and, know, and that honestly that's his that's his way of giving back to at the same time that's his way of giving back to community. I, I feel you know I mean even yeah. though yeah he might because okay, you gotta have your nine to five job and pay your bills right but they also entertainment don't pay that right away so that no, was his no. job to you it's know make money volunteer it's volunteer work for me because uh, that's I dope. actually that's dope. Incarcerated. I was incarcerated and I did um, community service and then How long that you was incarcerated? a community service like help them but then now it just made me feel like i want to step up and like keep doing this and like like i had asked them like hey can i help you find jobs while i you know do community service and they were like yeah yo that's uh, that's that's god's gift right there for you and, and, and the, the fact that you found that passion to want to do that to help people is amazing man so keep doing that sister that's dope as hell that's really dope thank that's, you so much how long you was in uh how long you was in I was in two months, and okay. see, it was just two months, but you don't know when you're going home. Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. Right. So, <laughs> just imagine getting locked up right now doing a corona. <laughs> you will be chilling oh, over there. Oh, right? yeah, they got getting out. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I hate to say that right now, but it's real. Yeah. I got a cousin yeah, calling me every day, like, like nigga, this is hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, nigga, people call around me and shit. Nigga, just sneeze, nigga. He probably got the run. Yeah. But, but nah, that's what this is about. That's what this, you know, gas mask drive is about. We like to filter out all that so we can get to the real realness and the organicness of it and the authenticity but that's so dope that you you know was incarcerated came out got a job and and still able to volunteer help other people and become you know run your own thing become an entrepreneur and actress and I mean, wow! It's like, it's stop beating it! Stop beating up these dudes! You know, you know what I'm saying? Everybody stop! Stop beating up your exes and stuff. Okay. I had to. I was stripping and all. Like, man, it was. It was a hard road. How long like, were you stripping for? <laughs> You would know everything, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Hello. I mean, she said that. Now I want to know too. Like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Being asking, like, start asking personal questions, but I want to know that. Hello, is you? I'm for real now. I'm, I'm for real acting. Well, no, porno was a different type of acting. Oh, you did you porno too? Oh, no, shit. he didn't say porno. No, he no, said no, I no, for no, real no, want no, to I, know. Uh, 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 no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't do that. That's a talent. That's no, a talent I don't have. No, no, we didn't say that. No, <laughs> no, he, no didn't, I, he didn't say porno. He said that's a for real talent i want to know oh yeah uh oh stripping yeah. it's it's exhilarating it feels like it feels like aerobics i used to act on stage when i was a kid so it kind of feels like just when you're performing in front of people it's a, workout. It's a, it's a high it's a yeah. rest throwing it's, that money it's a rush it's a job yeah, right yeah you gotta get that money and that money's it's, good it's, it's good money you said what Sometimes you walk out that motherfucker with $2. Sometimes you walk out with $1,100. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hold on. If you walk out there with $2, I'll be mad like a mother. Oh, but it, oh, it, yeah. it comes to the game, though. Imagine it comes to the game, though. Because you got to pay a payout yeah. every day. You got to yeah. pay the uh, payout every day, man. You know, you may, may only make $80 and the payout is 75 But it, it comes, it, it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, com oh, it, com yeah. it comes with the game, yeah. though, for real. You a strong yeah. woman. You are so strong. Thank you. You know, I always say women are gods, and so you, you, you're a strong woman. You know Thank I mean? you so much. That's good and to you go through all of that. You have any, you have any you have any babies? tell you a story. Huh? You have any babies? No, no babies. Okay, no babies. No, okay. Oh, okay. I'm that's 27. Good, that's great. Saving yourself for a good husband. Are you still young? Husband. You got, you got, you you got, got a bright future. You, you, you still good. So how you feel about guys? Guys? You know, yeah. And your whole experience, like the, the, the dating experience. He was though. No, how you feel about your dating experience? Are you yeah, single? Are you specific. relationship? Well, thank you, so oh, Thank you for helping on? me out with that. As far as communicating <laughs> with me, I love it. I treat it like an experiment. What guys? You know, with guys, yeah, okay. I treat it like an experiment. Like okay, like 
let me see their standards and then like what's my standards and you know like and just always be honest you know yeah um i'm very experimental when it comes to sexually so oh, wow. i've done all things. see that that, <laughs> that right there go win you like win with guys right there that alone right there yeah. i've done them all and um just right now, I've went through three boyfriends in the past five months. <laughs> what? What? What's wrong with it? Wait, wait, wait. I, I got a bad. question. That's not bad. No, <laughs> no, that is, that not, is bad. not good. No, stop it. Knock it off. That's, that's not that's bad. Kind of true. That is not good. That is that, that, that's horrible. Wait, was five they, months? Was they boyfriends friends. or was they experiments? Because it's a difference. You might just be having fun. Okay, they were, no, they were some real boyfriends, and then it's like the last two of them. It was like really serious, and the one before that was a sugar daddy. Okay. Oh, well, he's, 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 the, old, he's the older. He wasn't a boyfriend. Yeah, he was a sugar daddy. Give him his title. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was, well, you know, he was fifty years well, she, old. You she, know, what I'm saying? she he's committed to him. Girl, you know, At least she threw it back on him. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> he, 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 he hung in there, so that's good. <laughs> did, 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 did he have to? Use, did he have to use Viagra? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> what? that's funny. Hold on, baby, let me get this back right quick. Give it that's thirty minutes, crazy. let it kick in. So that was the first one. Who was the second one? How was the second? The second one, um, you know what? He did not support my acting career. He tried to kind of what? sabotage it. Oh, he's, oh, he's a bit. He's a bit. He's a hater. He's a hater. Gotta go. Yeah, I'm glad you left. Not drive my car. I trusted to not drive my car to work and just ask him like, "Hey, you can drop me off at home." He was like, "Definitely." But he's like, oh, they're probably not going to film your film and saying all kind of negative oh, yeah. shit. Oh, he's like, a hater. He's trying oh, yeah, yeah, he he to slow you down. Yeah, he yeah, can't yeah. do that. Yeah, that's the Next, wrong dude. Next, third nigga. I mean, third guy. I'm yeah, sorry. I was like, no, he's yo, I had, I had to drop him. And the next guy, he didn't do nothing wrong, but his spirit was chaotic. He was getting into fights. He was getting put over by the police. He um, got into a car accident. I don't oh, know yeah, what kind of karma he had. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something about I don't know if it was karma. I don't know if it was wow. like a trend, a, a negativity. But yeah, I, I didn't know. I, I I didn't know how to handle that. You know, it was kind of chaotic. So and now this last check. guy. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, oh, this last guy, um, I had to tell him I'm working. I'm working on my craft, but I'm not gonna be boot up every five seconds. And he oh, like take no. somebody else. <laughs> Come on, it's I'm quarantine. Like, oh, you should what? understand. It's quarantine right now. He want to be booed up right now. Everybody booed up right now. Quarantine season. I know, but it's quarantine. But at the same time, we got to practice social distancing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know, what the hell he been around. Yeah. Facts. That's facts. Right. Exactly. Facts. Yeah, I, mean, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Well, you know, though, I'm, I'm going to tell, tell you some real stuff right now. And, 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 and you're going to think about this in a minute. Like, your energy... Okay. You gotta think about your energy. I think you got a vibrant energy. I think you you got a forgiving energy, but I also think you got a beautiful spirit. I can feel it, feel it over the phone. So sometimes you gotta Thank understand you. when you, you got a beautiful when you spirit, I can feel it over when, the phone. <laughs> That's all like a song, bro. That's <laughs> right there. That's it, a record. Right it, there. It's a record. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. But you gotta, if you, but you have to ask yourself sometimes when you attract the same type of guys, what are you projecting? So sometimes you gotta take an inventory of your energy. Yeah, take an inventory of your energy. You know what yeah. I think I project? You know what I think I project? To be honest, what's that? Uh, I project my past. I project my present. I project my sexuality, mm. and I project where I'm going in life. Mm. Okay. And, 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 I think, and I think and I think some guys leech off that. And you know what? You know how some so do you. I, I, I don't know. I want. I, I don't know why I want to ask this. I feel like <laughs> it's okay to be comfortable with who you are, and if another motherfucker got a weird problem with it, you know what I mean. He can kiss your ass and get on. You know what I mean. Like, mm -hmm. I, honestly, like you know, I I think people should just blossom in who they are. You know what I mean. Like, you should never hide. Yeah. Anything, like, anyway. So. Uh, yeah. And I made a crazy rant on Instagram about uh, the quarantine day, and I made you this read my joke. Mind, I was too, like, Yo, huh? you, read, you read my mind. Oh. <laughs> you said what? Say that one more time. Like, say say that one more time. Sorry, sister, I missed the whole thing. It, it was a joke um, that I had did on Instagram. I'm like, you know what? Quarantine bay just means that these motherfuckers don't want to. Excuse my language. They don't want to. Um, 
They're not taking, there's nothing open. They're not taking you nowhere. They want to lay up and fuck. Like, I was just like saying shit like that. And the lady was acting crazy in the in the group. That's dope. It was, wow. But it was just like going to like a crazy joke. Like wow. everybody want to be booed up during quarantine because there's nothing else to do. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. No, that's facts. That's and facts. some people have no choice but to be booed up. Because they can't get out right now too, so that's another story too. Well, I'm, but I'm so... talking about that new day stuff. Like you pull over and be like, "Hey, beautiful!" Like you know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so glad you funny, you you funny in, girl. You know, uh, hey, keep pursuing your career, yo. Yeah, yeah. Keep thank th- thank you for that inspiration. Letting putting thank Zoe you. putting Zoe in check. Letting him know he's an entrepreneur. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Yes, you're an entrepreneur. I'm going to switch it up now. We thank you so much. Uh, tune in next Thursday. Share this podcast. Share with everyone. And uh, we appreciate you. And always do what you love, okay? Please. All right, for sure. All right, take care. All right, for take sure. care. Okay. Love it. Move right along. Yeah. That's a great move when you say that, someone. Okay. She's done with him. She out. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, back to you know the com- the the comedy world. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The people there are, are they like? Cause you you got the Bernie Max, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. You got the 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 Jim Carries, mm-hmm. right. You have the Robert um, Robert Williams. Yeah, and he's a beast. Yeah, so school, I mean, like, old school beast. Yeah, those but those are different types of eras too. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So like the the the, the era now. Anybody can be a comedian. The thing about it, you got people shooting sketches on Instagram. Right. All of a sudden, say, you know what? I gotta get this money. I'm gonna be a comedian. All of a sudden, and they could win off that because they could just they don't have to necessarily write jokes and just kind of get into that comedic experience because they're funny online. So okay, that's big. Which is two different okay, stories. So that's, that's that's okay. Now we're gonna filter out that. Okay. Right. What would, what would be the real way of putting that? If you was like, okay, this is what it actually is, and this is what it actually ain't, from your experience of nine years, I I, I feel like because the comedian would understand that terminology. Well, I mean, I, I, I mean, I mean the, but for a person that don't know the comedian world, yeah, yeah. and they're like interested to yeah. understand, like, oh, well, I mean, I'm gonna let you know right now, you gotta put a lot of blood, shed, and tears in this, like every day on stage. These people don't make it to the 17 year as a comedian. So that's like the ratio. Yeah, that's the ratio. But at the same time, seventeen it, 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 it don't really matter when you make it. But real comedians are real comedians because it's a it's an art. It's like set up punchline joke, and they could do it instantly without thinking. You okay, see what so, I'm so you all you always still like I'm still in the learning process. I I feel like I could be more consistent. I could still keep continue learning and growing as a comedian. But as comedians. This is somebody like Dion Cole, for instance. Right. D right. Ray, which is from my hometown. These cats been slammed for years, over over fifteen years doing comedy. So it's an art form that they manage, they understand, they get. But you got someone from Instagram, right? Which started just doing skits okay. and got a million followers. Said, you know what? I'm gonna do comedy. I'm gonna get this comedy money, and they might not be able to switch over to being a comedian. Right. Unless they work with a crowd, everything's a craft and work ethic at the same time. But where did you say, okay, I'm a comedian. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna run with it, and this is gonna, you know what I mean? I'm gonna ride this out. Uh, and how did I deal with family? Like, you know, did your family ever be like, uh, yeah, go ahead, do that? You know what I mean? I mean, they they support it. Let me say this. My, my, that's, that's no, no, what I mean. No, no, like, my, my family. Like, no, no, no. Okay, let me say something. Let me say something. My family just support it until they stop me doing shit. You see what I'm saying? Right. They're, like, like, they're like, nah, man, get on. You don't got to do that bullshit. Nah, just stop, man. Get you get this job. I got to hook up for Ford. We can work on a plant, make all this good money and shit. And then I start telling these jokes. Like, nigga, you funny. You 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 dope with this shit. But, you know what I'm saying? You good. That and was then after to, they saw you on, like, the commercials. Commer- yeah, commercials. When I started the commercial, like, oh, nigga, okay, nigga. Oh, uh, nigga, I knew you was going to make it. No, but the first... <laughs> <laughs> and first, like nigga, come back home, nigga. Let me get this job right now. I gotta hook up with the plant, <laughs> nigga. I get your job at, at this first place here, CTA, the, the 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 metro system. Let me get your job over here. Give up, bro. And then and they started putting that hard work in, and start shit start start saying me booking all these commercials and TV right. stuff. Like yo, nigga, you got it. I knew you. I knew you was gonna make it, my nigga. So that's the same, the same thing with music with you and shit. Until people don't people understand until they start seeing. 
the aftermath of everything progressing. But it don't stop though. You could book it like even to this day. Bro, you know it's, how it's bad hard. I got, it don't stop. I I had a phone call from my cousin yeah. this week, mm-hmm. and my cousin was like, "Yo." Why you're not famous? Yeah. You should be so much yes. better than where you are. I got a cousin like you that, yo. You've been moving so much. Blah, blah, blah. You've been, like, bro, since you were 12, you've been performing. Yeah. Why are you not huge yeah. right now? Yes. And I'm like, I think Absolutely. it's because of loyalty. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think, anyway. No, 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 no. I feel you because I, cause I, got this, I got cousins. I got a cousin that he built. He probably watching this he like nigga, hey, move back home, to Chicago, man. You know, just get this, get this it bread out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody in Chicago <laughs> doing their thing. Why you, why you out there, in LA, struggling, or, <laughs> or you right. know what I'm saying? You know, or, or, why you waiting around? People out here, we getting it out here. You know the which medium? I, which I understand his mindset. You know the medium. He's a hustler. In, you know the medium in California, is seventy thousand dollars. That's the medium in California, seventy thousand dollars. Report it, but go ahead, my bad. Really? Yes, that's crazy. Oh wow, 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 wow! Yes. I, I never do that. Yes. But then, but then, when they see you making it and see you doing your thing, they want to support you all of a sudden. So that's why, as artists, we live a different world than everybody else. They can never understand our world. The nine to five people, the people who retire with benefits and shit like that. They don't. They could never understand our world because we're artists. We live differently. We think differently. We right. we we jump into a mindset that no one else could experience. Right. But you, us. You know what I. You artists. know what I battle with sometimes a lot. Yeah. That I don't think a lot of people understand. No, but I battle with social awkwardness. Mm. Got a request, my man. Yes. A call? You see that right there? Let's uh-huh. tell us some. T- <laughs> 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 uh, okay. In a minute. We're <laughs> uh, <laughs> talking, uh, talking, uh, talking business right now. Um, but, no, no, but, what you said? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I don't want to skip over that. You're right <laughs> I got jokes on deck, yo. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke. That was, yeah, that was a joke. <laughs> no, but but like, what was you saying though on some real shit? You you said something you probably forget. I probably no, forget that already. fucked me up. That yeah. fucked because I I didn't expect no, for. I, I, I know I know I know her. That's why she was. Hey, tell some jokes. So I know I know who she is and shit. I know exactly who she is. But <laughs> she tells jokes. But that's yeah. pretty much like loyalty. It's, it's it's loyalty for me. Loyalty, like I was supposed to play some of the records, but I'm glad we had a call and come in, and you know what I mean. But loyalty is crazy for me mm-hmm. because I didn't gain anything in business on loyalty. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So family is my family because they were there. You know what I mean. Love them. They they they've been through. But I, you know what I mean. That's loyalty. That's family loyalty. That's yeah. not. You know what I mean? Business loyalty. Nah. So a lot of people get it. They think loyalty is a one standard thing. Yeah. Like, if we loyal in business, we loyal in business, we loyal in family, we loyal in... You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'll, I'll give you... I'll give you one. I'm a honey, right? Mm-hmm. We South Central, right? Mm-hmm. That's how we grow up, right? Right? Loyal. Right, we loyal. So I got a boy, my homeboy Roger, is this West Hills cast from West Hills, right? And then good Roger, area. If in case you don't know, West Hills is a good area. I'm sorry, yeah, it's a great area. West Hills got trees. Like, yeah, it's trees. They, they got, have sidewalks. They got, they got sidewalks. They grasses like mold and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? They got dogs in the backyard and shit. They pay their bills on time. Go ahead, keep going though. Just, just try to give them background, backstory and shit. That's West Hills, yeah, everyone. Yeah. So, Roger's in West Hills, okay. right? I'm from South Central. Mm-hmm. Some weird way, I end up running into this guy. This guy ended up knowing me. Okay. Right? So, I got him into the band, but I have a guy that's on my team that's, his name's Sam, okay. right? I'm not going to give him his whole alias, but let's just say Sam, okay. right? And because I'm so locked loaded with Sam, I don't give Roger a chance to extend the business Shine. opportunity. Okay. Right? But did he, did he hate on him? Did he, your boy hate on that other dude? It's, bro, it's being loyal. I knew my boy was out of line. You okay. get what I mean? It's like when you know your boy out of line, but you still want to be loyal. Mm. It's like, come on, dude. Mm. You know what I mean? 
or when you know someone is not capable of doing the job, but you want to be loyal because of of respect and yeah, relationship. I, yeah, it's like come on, you can't move forward doing that. Nah, you know what I mean. Nah, that's that was like a lot of. I, I, I experienced that too. That was oh, but man. but from experience, bro, for, so for, from experience, you gotta let them go, bro, bro. because they don't get it. It ain't not gonna get it. And only way I'm just saying, only you, only way you go grow in your career is being around people that's gonna test test you. <laughs> And make you greater. She said, "We can't. You fight it. We have grass and dogs in South Central." <laughs> <laughs> Yellow grass, uh, chihuahuas. <laughs> no, they got they got pit bulls on the grass. They get no chihuahuas and shit. That, that, thank you. That's funny as fuck. But yeah, loyalty. Yeah. We talking yeah. about loyalty, everyone. Yeah. What is loyalty to you? How? What does loyalty mean to you? Is it family? Is it different? Is it? Just, you know what I mean? I don't think loyalty is loyalty like everyone thinks, you know? But go ahead, Zoe. I mean, do y'all have, uh, I'm going to ask the guests right there. Do y'all have loyalty where y'all feel like y'all could depend on your family or you have to depend on friends or innocent bystanders to support what you do? You know what I'm saying? But I, you feel I, you get the support. As, as no, they, as when they does write, loyalty cut off? That's what I'm saying. But, but does loyalty, loyalty, loyalty cut doesn't off? never cut off unless Got there's betrayal. Hell no. It yeah. has to be betrayal, betrayal in order for loyalty to stop. Yeah. There's no way loyalty will stop unless you betray that person. Look. Let me think about this. Look, the check, Godfather, Luke Obrowski. Check, check. No, no, no. Check. He got a he, he backstory right. right there. Look, look, look. Check, <laughs> check, check. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing it. But that's facts, though. That's facts. Yeah. Though. That's facts. Yeah. yeah. This is us, right? Right. Beacon Radio is powered by... I know it's... Power is Gas Mask Tribe right. podcast, right? Okay. Now, there in that way, there's some loyalty there, right? Because no matter what, I'm not going to go and get this power by anybody else. Right. Because, you know what I mean? That's But if it happened, is there some, you know what I mean? But I don't consider That's, that... I don't consider that to be loyalty. I consider nah, that to yeah. be business. Exactly. Okay. It's good yeah, business. Yeah, yeah. And it's long. Wait, hold, yeah, wait, yeah. wait. Let me let, let me land. As it. long as Beacon Radio is providing you with the power you need, you're not going nowhere. Exactly. Now, let me. It's a better opportunity. Right. Unless something yeah. better comes up. I don't think that's loyalty. Loyalty is this. No, no, no. If something better come up and you can become a millionaire, you'd be like, ah, I'm going to stay here. That's blinded loyalty because I'm going to be like, bro, I need you to go get the million because you can help yeah, Beacon Radio I, I, go somewhere. Absolutely. You in, know? In mm -hmm. a sense in a sense of a brotherhood that where I used to trip out, right? Mm -hmm. This is why I would trip out because we locked loaded. I got somebody that's a part of us, but they're like, you don't need him no more. And I'm like, well, this motherfucker ride with me in the beginning when this motherfucker didn't have no shoes. Like, the car didn't even have a wheels. Right, right, He right. the one, we went and got wheels for the car. Right. And this contractor or architect, like, I could build you a better car, better wheels, whatever. I just need you to remove him. You get what I mean? Well, I, I understand where he coming from, and I understand where you coming from. Right. No, when you coming right. from... It's it's a different perspective. Yes, That's it's different saying. perspective. That's you you think you think from a like homie, homie, but, but, homie. But 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 listen though, here's good loyalty though. Okay, folks, look, they want me to rock and roll, but they don't want you. Here's a game plan. Let me go and see what this is all about, and if it's gonna work, bro, I can pull you in down the line, guaranteed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, That's mean. loyalty because now you trust with a whole lot of money. You still gonna pull your boy in? Phil, LeBron Phil. James. LeBron James. Come on. John, let me just say LeBron James. <laughs> yes, he's a perfect example. LeBron James put like four of his boys on and they kill it. But they got that work ethic right. to match the they, problem. Exactly. To work to match it, Who okay? Else? Kevin Hart's people too. Yeah, Kevin Hart too. Kevin Hart, Hart too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but exactly. exactly. But listen, but though, not everybody. Loyalty, not everybody gonna have that. Gotta work ethic. Man. Like, like, like. That's something I have to learn. You yeah, know, yeah. You, you know, cannot be cool. I had to learn that lesson too. You cannot be cool with everybody. Not everybody get it. And then, right. if, but you first of all, sometimes you 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 see it early when you bring around people or situations they act stupid. You get signs early. Right. You see what right. I'm saying? But you feel like, okay, this is my homeboy, my homegirl. I can adapt to him because that's how we always been doing. But when it comes to business or going to the next level, you can't take that shit. You can't take it. Somebody just said, oh, Lydia just said, loyalty is when you stick to a friendship or relationship or situation when you have nothing to win from it. Yeah, because if, if, if you're going to pay me, 
my loyalty gonna look like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when there's nothing and I'm riding with you, that's loyalty. And that's why I say it has to take some form of betrayal in order for loyalty to stop. Mm -hmm. I I factually understand that, but I'm looking at it because the friendship and mm. is the relationships, you know, because that's, you know, involved relationships, friendships, and, you know. Now, situations, those could be businesses, you know what I mean, or whatever. The case. No, so here, you, you explained the situation. Things. You said if you know, the guy said he wants you but not his boy. That's a situation. I, I'm saying that's what I've had. And previous forms, right? You know what okay. I mean, of loyalty. Like, how loyal am I to the situation that I'm locked to? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, no, we boys, we family forever. I mean, I just need to get a couple checks, of course, and that's how we keep this thing blowing up. I mean, where I've had a musician cry because I left that band to go to another band when he felt I should have been so. Stuck and solid and. But that was a business move. Yeah, but I'm saying I. Th this is where we at, people. Zoe will never become I'm sure as famous as he pl is, as he plans to as an actor or comedian, if he allows his loyalty to stand in the way of him growing. Meaning, exactly. What I'm saying is. If you're Facts. loyal and there's Facts. nothing to gain, that's one thing. But if if, if it's a, if it's a comedian team and a guy says, "Well, you know, Zoe, I, I want you, but not him," to me, I should be able to say, "You know what, Zoe? He wants you, man. Take that shot, bro. Get hopefully, it. hopefully Go. you can pull me in Go. when you get there. Go. See, that's that's uh, that uh, undying uh, 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 loyalty. A real friend go see it. So, nigga, you got it. Yeah. Go. Go. Bring us in later. Don't forget like about this. me. Bring us in later. <laughs> Look. The because gas face. You know <laughs> exactly. 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 But, yeah. but 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 at the same right. yeah at the same time you gotta do what you gotta do to get to the next level because loyalty but keeping that same position forever. But then now they say ah oh, you now you mischievous now you just looking out for yourself now you being selfish now. Yeah exactly. But that's <laughs> them. But that's <laughs> them. That's them right. giving us that projection. That's the haterism. Yeah, that's the that's haterism. Going, that's like, saying, I'm the same person. Yeah, that's saying like, look, man, maybe you're not as much of a friend as you say you were. Yeah. But now here's a solid cat. I know a cat, man, that did some stuff, right? And they had to separate from him and his boys. He came up, became good. His boys talked bad about him, hated on him. When he got to where he wanted, he went back and had to sit down with them. They said, look, this is the money I'm finna break y'all off. This is what I need y'all to do. Yeah. He you know, he didn't even let the haterism stand, and he stayed loyal and pulled him in. That's exactly. a beautiful situation. You see what I'm saying? So I love that. And again, I was again I was bringing again I was bringing LeBron <laughs> again I was bringing LeBron James up sometimes, man. Because yeah. his loyalty is unbelievable, unshakable. Because you know why LeBron James played for Cleveland, young. It was a lot of pressure coming from high school, playing for your city. Okay. He wasn't ready, okay? He wasn't ready. He went to Dwayne Wade, who I went to high school. Um, they gave <laughs> him, who gave, who, same high school, who gave him that, that heart, who gave him the heart, and then he became better. Right, right. So he found an opportunity, as I got it. He went back to his hometown. Right. And got motherfucking championships. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He won. Don't get me wrong. That's you know what I'm a beautiful. You story. have to do that. You know so what I'm saying? He went back home. In order he to made it happy. He said, "You know what? I'm gonna do this my city." And that was his biggest moment. I don't think his. I think his moment. His biggest. LeBron James' biggest moments is when he won it for his city by himself without a leader, but just a couple other people to play the role in playing basketball and shit. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Right. So that's what he. That was his biggest accomplishment. He ain't had right. no leaders. It's just him and a bunch of role players trying to get it together. You know right. what I'm saying? So you have to do yeah. for yourself yeah. in order to do for others. Yeah, that's what right. make him. That's what that's what make him so great. Even in Lakers, he's a, a, a LeBron James makes everybody on the team better. Well, but that's what all great leaders do. Michael do Michael Jordan? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, but in a different way though. Yeah, it's a yeah, totally the, the different way. Michael Jordan gonna punk you, you bitch ass motherfucker. Get your shit together. I'm gonna smack the <laughs> shit out you. Next game, you better score, do your thing. I ain't gonna fuck with you no more. That's Michael Jordan aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you. I'm gonna smack you, little bitch. You better play ball next time. Oh, I ain't gonna call you no more. I ain't fuck with you. We gonna get it together. You know what I'm saying? LeBron James, I like, will pass you the ball. Just you miss a couple times, <laughs> miss. <laughs> just keep did, it, did he just go in? <laughs> it's okay. You missed. It's okay. You missed again. I believe in you. 
Michael Jordan believe in nobody, nigga. You better score that basketball. I'm gonna smack the shit out of you. Okay, <laughs> that's the difference between Michael Jordan uh, and LeBron James and shit. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm still a Kobe fan all day. Okay, nobody say Kobe Nation. Kobe's a beast. Day. I mean, yeah, Kobe's a beast. I mean, you know, but I mean, great leaders, bro. Great leaders pull the best out of you. Period. Yeah, you know. Absolutely. Um, and before you can become a great leader, you got to be a, a phenomenal follower, Absolutely. no matter how you cut it, because you got to learn going up, and it, and it's a humbling position. Yeah, you know. What about NWA and the fallout there? What went wrong there? Egos. Money, oh. egos, money, egos, egos. 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 attitudes. Money. Yeah, you know. I mean, Easy. you know, Q. They saw their self worth. Honestly, you know what I'm saying. They all probably I, honestly. I feel like was there any loyalty there? What happened to the uh, loyalty? Betrayal. I mean, these all hood. These are these all hood dudes. They Is that got what it. we said, Rich J? Is that what you asking? But, but what They're I'm saying hood is, dudes, what happened yo? to the loyalty and NW, betrayal? NWA? See, listen, man. I can tell you right now. You can be loyal, but when when haterism, jealousy, envy start setting in, you start betraying your folks, man. Absolutely. And they got to pull out on you. Yeah. Yeah, you think, so you think Betrayal I mean, but, broke that up? Yeah, okay, well, well, okay, e listen. Easy. We bro broke listen. NWA up. You I'm get paid $100,000 for us. It's three of us. That should be $33,000, $3,300, $33, $33 cent all the way around the table. We can throw the penny in the trash so we don't need it, right? But instead, you take 60 and give him 20 and give me 20. You Absolutely. just betrayed us. You're a hustler. Now, am I doing And, and, wait, and, wait, 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 wait. and, you're not even doing half the work. Right. Exactly. Niggas write everything for you. So you easy so we niggas was easy doing e shit for him. He, easy was a hustler. I put the money behind it. He I was got a hustler it. slash gangster. Exactly. But far as talent, Ice Cube. Why y'all discredit? What easy say? Why Ice Cube write easy the easy lyrics. Have. I say. Yeah. Dre was the beat man. Yeah. You know, easy E had. Easy E was good with just just gra He's a hustler, yo. He gonna grasp it and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? So you give you me something, I'll make it happen. You, you don't know what think Easy was just the it package? He was. He was. He was. I mean, but you know, yeah. I'm not. I can't take nothing from me. But from the video and the documentary I so seen, would you expect they taught the him wait, how to wait, rap? Wait. Would you expect the it package to be loyal? Hell yeah! Everybody should be loyal on a I team. I, I, I'm gonna tell you like this. I wouldn't. It's like this. It's like it's He's like it package. It's like you. It's, a, it's like you go to kick it. With, loyal to what's it? Yeah. yeah, but no. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, if you on a team, bro. I mean, like honestly speaking, you know, it's like when you go to your job. Most people don't have loyalty to the job. They have loyalty to their paycheck. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. Most people hate their jobs, so they don't go. Right. I don't have to have a show in the world. I come every day. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because I love what I do, but I'm committed and I'm loyal. And when the people come in, I don't give anybody any less service because I'm loyal to the job. And I feel that you are loyal. You know what I'm saying? If you was a lying motherfucker. I said you a lying motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Phil, Phil, you, for, for, you know what? Phil, you a good dude. You feel your energy, though. If I didn't meet you, I met you out about, I said, excuse my nigga, like, it's all good. Walk past. Like, I'm still a good nigga. You know what I'm saying? I right, can tell. Right, right, right. By your energy, you're a good dude. You know what I'm saying? Jay talking a lot. Call in, Jay. Give, give us your thoughts. Jay, the number's posted right there. We got about. 10 minutes before it's time to rock and roll. Is there time what, go by what so happened fast. to the loyalty in NWA? Oh, before I go, um, before we go, uh, I want to get. You got to do three things before we go. You yeah, just forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah. The uh, video. Yeah. So we yeah, need to yeah, do that yeah. one now. Let's do, let's do it like a joint thing. Yeah, let's do the video. While we talking about loyalty, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, guys, we want to play you guys uh, the, the, last, the last dance. It's the uh, I think it's like how many, I don't know how many parts. It's like uh, the the dynasty of the Bulls, the last dance, and this is Michael Jordan coming out right now, y'all. I'm just kidding. What time is it? Big time. Who? My mentality was to go out and win at any cost. Jordan is the most talented player in the NBA by far. The show of the 90s, the team of the 90s. How you feeling? Whenever they speak Michael Jordan, they should speak Scotty Pippen. You know what I like it most about this this so, uh, this documentary. is like a, a, a documentary slash yeah. movie. It, it's a documentary. I think it's like I don't know. I think it's gonna expand to at least six weeks. 
And this is like trending like a motherfucker right now. Trending right now. It comes on this Sunday. So if y'all Michael Jordan fans with love basketball, like watch this documentary, yo. Because Michael Jordan, I believe, is the best player of all time in the NBA. Come on, bro. Get out of here, bro. Okay, 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 Phil. Uh, you're from, I don't you're know, LA, man. You're LA, I'm, dude. I'm, I'm a, a Magic LA Johnson dude. guy. Okay. I'm a Kobe guy. He old, so. he old school with it. You know what I'm saying? All right. The, the best scorer in the league, who you guys suggest? The best scorer. See that saved me because I ain't big on basketball. <laughs> Hello, Carly, you on the air? Hey, it's Rich J. How y'all doing, folks? What's All right, up, how you doing, brother? Uh, what's Thanks for calling in. Uh, you know, hang it in there, hang it in there. Cuzzo, what's good, man? What's up, bitch? Uh, so where you, how you doing, though? What's so you want to expound up, on this, uh, on this um, Michael yeah. Jordan documentary or? Well, I mean, that, I mean that that goes without saying. You know, Michael Jordan was, was the he great. Was he loyal? Wait, 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 wait. Let him talk, please. Was he loyal? No, 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 no. Was he what? What did you think about Michael Jordan? Was he loyal? Please go ahead. Well, Michael Michael Jordan was the was the great. He set the bar for anybody, any NBA player, Kobe, uh, LeBron. I love you. You know, Way. He 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 put he set the bar. Without him, the bar wouldn't even been set. Absolutely, would have been period. So, I mean, as far as that's concerned, I mean, he will all. I mean, look at his shoes. And look at his shoes. Best of the shoes. I, mean? I got Jordan's look on right now. Marketing. You sound funny marketing. when you say that. Look at his shoes. I mean, he's, he's good. good. Hey, look, hey, hey, that's you, the only, he's that's good. one of the only shoes that I know besides Tommy Hilfiger and Felix that somebody will rock if they're fake. Period. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Who, uh, uh, I, 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 I didn't know they hey, made you Jordan. Wait, up, wait. Uh, Wait, Grandma said, uh, um, you're wrong. Celeste thing shot. She said, you're wrong. You're wrong information. About what? She might be talking about something what else. What you talking about? What you talking about? Yeah, no, please elaborate. I, 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 no, GG, no. what hey, you hey. talking about? Come on. do you love me? <laughs> ah. <laughs> but, so what about his loyalty, though? And end up you well, you would have to say his. Are oh, you talking about Jordan? You, no, 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 no. You'd have to say Jordan is loyal. Who else did he play for? No, Jordan's very yeah, loyal. Yeah, yeah, Jordan's very loyal. Who else loyal did he play for? Yeah, he, 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 he made his he made his team players better. Jordan Wait, made but, his. But listen though, this is this is loyalty. Did Jordan go from the Chicago Bulls to somebody else? Yeah. No. But he said it in the video. If he wasn't loyal, he would have took all the credit for himself. Listen to him. Listen to him. You can't say Michael Jordan's name without saying Scottie Pippen. Yeah, That's absolutely, loyalty absolutely, right absolutely, absolutely. That's a team right there. But he made Scottie Pippen game. better. Jordan made <laughs> Pippen better. Pippen would not be Pippen without Jordan. Do you believe that? Hey, yeah, I believe yeah, you. I, I, I do. But I mean, he also made Dennis Rodman but the man the too. Without Rick, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Still a salad. Hey. Hey, let me, let me ask the this most question. loyal teammate on the most loyal player in the NBA is Kobe. Bullshit. He oh my God. On. Hell no. Kobe's the most hate ass dude. What ever. other team has he played for, people? He loyal, he but he hate. Oh, 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 oh. He what? Hold on, hold on, bro. What? On, he what? <laughs> what he say? What he say? Kobe he is a hater though. Still, he's you still a hater. Kobe was loyal. Kobe not loyal. Nah, what nah, team oh, did he no. play for? Michael Jordan ain't what never. Michael Jordan ain't never tricked on his teammates. <laughs> he'll smack the shit out of you. Oh, we talk about him. He'll Michael. check you, but oh, he would no. never trick on your. He would. <laughs> Jordan would never. Tr- we talk about Kobe hated. I love Kobe. I love Kobe. But Kobe hate on his players. Now, Jordan it never Michael hate Jordan on you. They traded Shaq because of Kobe. Exactly. So we talking because Kobe like I don't fuck with him like that. Yeah. So we talking. So we saying the same guy that came out with shoes that said my shoes is supposed to be sold to suburban kids in white America is more loyal than the man who stayed with the team since he was eighteen until he. Passed Hold away. on, you talking about? You said Jordan said what? He, 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 Jordan. Uh, yeah, he, he, he just yeah. made some shit up. Oh, you think no, Jordan no, lost? No, he no. said, "Hold on." He said, "What?" Say no, it again. Jordan did say that his yes. shoes was made for suburban kids. suburban people. Not come on. I mean, that was a marketing scheme. What the? Because he wanted shit to sell. No, wh- wh- whatever his reason no, was, my Jordan wanted shit to sell. Tommy he, Hilfiger. Tommy Hilfiger. He, Tommy Hilfiger. When I first bought Jordans, I thought no, I could jump no. higher. Tommy I'm like, I'm gonna jump higher. Okay. Tommy Hilfiger said my clothes was not made for black people. Was that a marketing scheme? 
No, he, he so what? He was a, oh, he was a nigga. Go? He was a nigga. He was a nigga. He was a nigga. Jordan is like, you know what? He Everybody can buy my shoes. I want the rich people, people to buy this. What you say, Prince? It's a marketing scheme. Exactly. I want the rich people to buy this. Exactly. He got the most expensive shoe ever. Y'all want the most expensive? No, 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 He ain't got the most expensive. Well, well, well. Back then, back then. No, Nike has always had two, three, four, five hundred dollars shoes. Come on, man. What Jordan? Uh, yeah, hold on. What? What? Come on. What? Always. Nike's runners what have Jordan? always been in the two hundreds and up. No, I never. Yes, Jordan's yes, most expensive yes, shoe first. Are you? Are you tripping? And then maybe that fucking what's that movie? What's that movie called? What's, what's that movie called? I think. Hey. I'll bring. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring a runner up here. She runs for Nike. I'll bring her up here on podcast, and we're gonna. Start. Listen though. Like listen. Like well, let, 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 like let, let's end it with this. These shoes cost more than both of those shoes combined. So I mean, what is but, but it, what, it ain't about the price of shoe. But what we're talking about is right. let's put it this way. Yeah, Jordan got some shoes, and they and they all been around forever in a day, right? Right. But at the end of the day, whether he's loyal to his team or not is one thing. But I can tell you this, since you want to talk about it, he's he ain't, he ain't loyal to black folks. That's facts. Jordan? Name something you know that he do in the community for black folks. Well, he did. He, he did. He did, yeah. man. He gave him shoes. No, no. He <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't, he get, he didn't give him the uh, in the hood. Yeah, back, back, back in the days, though. But Jordan's an old motherfucker now. What he got to do for the community right no, now? He, I mean, on, he, didn't, he didn't do nothing back then. What did he do back you then? You saw this motherfucker get on What, what, what did Kobe do? His last years basically for the community. You know what I'm saying? He's an older cat. Jordan's an older person right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's older... <laughs> no, 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 I'm serious. Tell me. What did, what did Kobe do during his time of saying, retirement? In all, in, you literally said respect, just because respect, he's older. He in all respect to, to Jordan, not, not Jordan. He paid his dues already. It's different then. Oh, uh, it's different. Not, the platform was not as big as the platform that facts, he had today. Facts. Facts, bro. Facts. Bro, he had a facts, bigger platform. Facts. Period. Facts. He had, okay. he had, he had email. He got internet. He got all those and things. Instagram, social media, <laughs> social media, all, all right, that stuff. So, so, so. That's facts, bro. Thank you, bro. I we need to get it. to your songs because we all had right, an eight twenty one. All right, thank you, man. Hey, that was family, crazy. Guys. Thank you, thanks bro. for calling in, bro. For sure. I love you, man. Watch it this Wait, Sunday, bro. Nice Watch it this Sunday. Last dance hey, this Sunday. <laughs> love what you do, man. Love what you do. Love what you do, bro. Notice. All right, man. Good dude, right there. Yeah, see, I can't argue with y'all about basketball, really. I'm, not, even, I, I'm, I, not, I'm not the one with all the detail. I'm not but sports cat, but I'm just, when, it, when it comes down to putting stuff cat. in the communities, that much I know because that, that's one of the things Kobe didn't. I mean, that's one of the things that, that Jordan really did not do. That's one of the things that. that How you know that, though? Bro, he when it comes. It. I, that's, that's my field. Okay. That's my field. Even with, like, with Steve Harvey, he does things with people back home. He don't do absolutely nothing for people out here okay. far as community. But, but see, he don't say. But see, he you're not seeing the video. He said nigga. The muscle one made nigga. I just made room with white boys over there. Come on, bro. What? I'm, I'm. So <laughs> let me ask you a question, man. This song, right, this, this, this song I'm playing right here. What is this? Okay. So, um, first time. This is the first time I heard a Michael Jordan play. <laughs> please see the documentary, everyone. Michael Jordan documentary. The last dance. This, sun, uh, this, this Sunday. Sunday. Last dance. So going into the records, man. Uh, this record is first time. The producer that produced eighty percent of this album, uh, his name Rick. He also sings. You know, he's, he's like a musical thing. Matter of fact, he has a song, uh, new production that he did on Twenty, which is on BET, the okay. new show Twenties, um, with a lady named Sarah West. Y'all go check that out. But um, yeah, he produced you know, a lot of these records. So this beat was kind of messed up, and I was like, Yo, I'm gonna produce the beat, but I'm, I'm gonna keep your vocals on there and things like that, and. You know, this is like the first time you really fall in love with someone. Remember that first time? Yeah, yeah. But you really yeah, wanted to keep it, it going? Yeah, yeah. But what if that first time was every day? Mm. You know what I mean? That reminds me of a movie where where this guy was in love with this girl, and I guess she had some type of brain disease, and every day she would wake up and forget yesterday. Dates. Yeah. That right, right there, right, yeah, right, right. that would be dope. But I think that would yeah, be getting tiring right. for that one individual that got to keep reminding you every this day. Is first time, everyone, you know? we'll check it out. <laughs> Go.
she started over because I they didn't get to hear the words. I'm saying you're loving you. Love you every day like it's my first time. First time. First time. I'm on it every day like it's What you know about that? Uh, what you know about that, biz? Coming in like a poet. Man, I'm trying, man. I'm trying to, you know, have some little, have people make some biz babies in my ear, you know? Yeah. You know how, like, just those, those groups that came out and they would have, like, Oh, man, I was born off your music. Like, I knew that I was conceived off of Roger and Zach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I knew it. I knew it. But I mean, you know, when Roger and Zach had that record, hey, lady, ooh, baby, let me. Oh, man, my pops was, he had the Jerry Curl. He had, you know what I mean? He was a cholo, too, so he had the <laughs> <laughs> He's everywhere. He's a cholo with a Jerry girl. Uh, he was a Mexican, you know, a Mexican game. I love it. I love like, it. It was bro. crazy. So, wow. But those records, you know, it's like reminds me of that. So I was like, man, what would it feel like if you just had that first love every single day? You know what I mean? And like you said, it would, it would, it would mildly look tiring to the other person. No, but outside. fifty first dates would. But if, if what <laughs> you're saying, it's like being in love the first time. It's like it's new. Right. Every it's single day. Every right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Every single yeah, day. Yeah, so, you know. Yeah. That's, that's dope, though. Yeah, it's like, it, it is. If you can wait that experience every day, that what it was, every was, day, it's It was dope. like the first time, really, like the first time you had sex. You know what I mean? Mm. But what if that was every day? Well, you know, some people first time wasn't good. Oh, that's probably bad. But they had a first love. But that first nut, that first orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> That first nut, hey, you know, that first you know, nut, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that first it's nut. It's like the first time that every first day. Nut. <laughs> hey, hey. I, I always thought about that. I, I, I always thought about that. I was like, damn, man. Like, yeah. even for like, for a boy, for the first time, like, my son's birthday just passed, right? Yeah. And he's two. And I'm like, son. Damn man, when you get older, like you know, it get the little like puberty starts, you know, start. He gonna go through that first experience, try to have his first nut, and I'm like, son, look, it's gonna take every little bone out of you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you little boy, you was over there. <laughs> Your first nut, you know what I mean? Squeeze that, all up. Ah! I think. You know what I mean? Your first time. My first nut was amazing. Like, oh, I for sure oh, shake oh, it. Oh, you liked it? Oh, it was great. My, my, no, my your, first, your eyes didn't crap behind you. No, 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 no. My first, every boy, look. Every no, guy, my first nut. I'm like, oh my god, it's amazing. It's the, the best nut in my life. That was the first. Nut. Do you feel like <laughs> you, <laughs> ain't never, <laughs> you ain't never had a nut that was that feeling after that? I mean, yeah, you had experiences, Damn, that's but bad, that first bro. time, that first that's time, bad, that it's like that something new, time, bro. It's it's something completely new. You know, what's your first time? It was amazing. It was amazing. I probably did it about ten times because I learned how to masturbate at a very young age. Me too. Hey. <laughs> did you, did you, I can tell that. I can did the first the first your, thing I beat my dick to. You sucked your molars when you was. <laughs> Nah, <laughs> I found my father pornos and beat my dick to that shit the first time, and that shit fucked me up. Really? I was not the same. But I was stupid, I, though. I had but, a great-grandfather. Imagine those pornos. Mm, that's the old school shit. Yeah, they was like, they had like, they they was yeah. wearing the big old granny panties yeah. and the pornos. That's, oh. what, that's what Becky oh. and all that's that, like lady. That's like <laughs> fucking, uh, what's that What's that porn star? There was the freak back in the days. Uh, <laughs> they making a movie about her right now. I forgot, uh, some, some Puerto Rican chick. I was so stupid watching porn with a dude busting a girl's stomach. I st- I thought that that's how to get pregnant. <laughs> first time, first, first time, time, first time, first time. First time. Like, then she pregnant. I like then she. I thought she was sticking the stomach and shit. I, thought, I was first so time. stupid. I thought how to get pregnant. I was like, God damn, she better get pregnant. But yeah. <laughs> 
So so let's let's get this let's next one out because you got right. you got another song right, coming right. in here. Uh, 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 tell us about this song, man. Um, the, the the two what is the two a.m. light up? So two a.m. Okay, so check this out. Every club gets out in L.A. Mm -hmm. before the quarantine, but every club would get out like at tw one o'clock, one thirty. You get that what I mean? Right. Like, so like I'm like after that kicking spot. It's always that 2 a.m., right? The kicking spot. And that's when it really pops up. Absolutely. That's when the party getting to pop in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right? And it's that real turn up. And so that's what I wanted to, like, bring that. Bring that, like, this another vibe of, like, this is that turn. Like, the night doesn't end. But the freaks come out and like, after they do. So that's what this is. 2 a.m. with kids coming out of here. I like that. I like Yes, I love it when you hire check. Call it down the sick. Make it love and do a higher bliss. This is lovely. Drinking liquor with our gutter twins. Fuck your residence. That's my body. We some riding kids on some other shit. And I think about the mid to bring. That's a high we clip. In the world, she got everything. Watch the freak come out. We gon' light it's 2 a.m. in the morning. We gon' turn it up in the morning. Feeling good, yeah, I know it's bad. It, it only cost my heart, and I'ma spend it fast. She show up in the dark, lighting up a match. Yeah, girl, you got the spark, I'ma make it last. Yep, she got my attention, nothing missing. We be talking in third party conversation. Love her body when I'm deep bed. She don't tell her friends, see the freak only come out, yeah, when it's 2 a.m. This is something that you never said. Call it priceless. To my niggas, do it like a thing. Yeah, she got some friends. Party on the way to 2 a.m. But she never quit. Slightly stupid on my radio. Party on the We gon' light it up in the morning. Go ahead. So it's pretty much like, you know, I don't, um, there's a band called um, Slightly Stupid. And Slightly Stupid is a big, huge reggae funk band. Those are my little man. Those are my little man. Those are my little Dover ones, man. Those are my bunnies right there. I see them. And then um, you see Kadena right there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> so the, that, that record was influenced by Slightly Stupid, you know what I mean? So... I really felt good about that one when it came out. Was, you know, that's my at night, keep drinking. They can hear me? Yeah, they can hear you. Yeah, oh, that's okay. dope. Yeah, we're looking at the comments, everyone. We're looking at what you're saying. We're looking at all the laughs, the remixes. There's a couple of seconds behind, right before y'all, though. We see the puff, puff, puffs. Hey! So, speaking about businesses, these are my peoples, right? Go back down. Alex. That's my people. Glaze Alex, Max. yo, what up, yo, bro? Yo, post up, uh, post a picture, uh, image file of your, you know, picture of your, uh, your stuff. Put an image file up there. So why don't you give him a short break? What, shout out. What do he do? What is? What do Alex do? Um, you know what? I had a video, and I needed somebody to come over and do a cameo for the video because the uh, 2 a.m. We, um, I'm sorry, uh, Party Harvey record we had, right? Right. And he, he was like, yo, I'm totally down. I had him come, and there was another uh, bug company came. And he came over. But he don't only do just goods, you know, like we. He also does clothing, you know what I mean? Okay. He has a whole glaze branding, you know Well, I mean? well tell him a, to contact the station because we got a brother that come I want to bring him up. Hey, Alex, <clears throat> would you come here, um, you know, next week? Let's um, do an interview, man. Would you mind? Yes, sir. Come up here and talk about the brand and all that good stuff. He has a crazy life story, too. I'm pretty sure y'all be interested. Savvy, brother. Mara. Mara. So, but yeah, man, that was 2 a.m. Puff, 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 pass. That's for all my you know, ganja smokers and all my hippies. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, man. Gas Mask Tribe TV people. Zo over here doing, you know, looking at other pictures and shit. Trying to figure out something to say. Uh, I, I Yo, <laughs> no, no, I was just watching, just doing homework. Uh, it's y'all. Let's let's tune in every week, man. Every week, every Thursday, eight fifteen, and hear the real gossip. 
if y'all got anything y'all want to hear just make sure y'all let us know text us uh put some in the comments right now y'all want to hear something good but i just want to say yo survive this coronavirus right now you know what i'm saying it's crazy um california been kind of okay with the whole coronavirus yeah thing. i wanted to play videos uh just to kind of i know i got probably got one minute left I want to play just a one minute of this video before we what get video out here, is it? just to kind of take everything off the subject. But please be safe, people. Yes. Be safe out there. <clears throat> if you can Don't stay kiss nobody as much as you shit. can, please. What video are you talking about? Uh, the Facebook one I sent you on your messenger. Oh, uh, stay, stay safe, y'all. Stay safe. Right. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. Messenger. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to pull that one up on okay, that one because so I'm on, cool. on it's here. Cool. But people, this uh, I'll be able. I'll have that video next week. But please be safe. Be safe. And wear your mask. And wash your ass, you know. What wash I mean? your hands. Wash, wash your hands. hands. <laughs> wash your hands. Wear your mask. Don't get nobody dab. Don't kiss nobody <laughs> new. <laughs> Thank I, you I so feel like, much for tuning in. Go ahead. I feel like when I'm going outside, I'm going raw because the coronavirus. <laughs> You feel like the way you feel? <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> I totally I feel like, feel like I need When I leave the house, I'm going raw slide right now. I feel like I'm going raw right now. I hope I'm good. Like you know what? Here, I, you know what I, I don't even feel that way. Like a friend of mine said, she told me she said, I went outside and I just felt dirty, you know? <laughs> And uh, and I was like, it's in your imagination because yeah. actually you should feel clean as hell because everybody's inside. True. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's though. actually scary. You know, um, four or five, any time of the day, it's free flowing. Yes. <clears throat> and it's good. scary, yeah, because yeah. I'm looking for somebody to come by and side swipe me or something. You know what I'm saying? No BS, but 105 has some traffic. Did it? Yeah, but I think it was like where was this? It had to be an accident. It, an accident. it had to be an accident. It was an accident. Because I mean, I, I, let me say this to the people of color. I want to thank y'all for staying in the house because see, a lot of times we get blamed for a lot of things. But see, I've been going to a lot of white communities. Man, they out hanging out. They pushing their kids in strollers. They jogging, they all in little huddles. Yeah. Ain't no 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 mask. I often say gas mask. Ain't no mask ain't on. Ain't no gas mask. Ain't nothing. You I, know what I'm saying? I live in a white neighborhood, so I see it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so so people of color, you know, uh uh you all have been doing a wonderful, wonderful job. You know, uh Thank you. but again, you know, when one black person run, everybody run. We don't even have to know what's going on. That's facts. And that's that's what that's Corona has done, you know. Yeah. And so we do have some some strays that do what they do, but I just want to say thank you for being safe. Yes. During this time, you know, and, and, and practicing your social distance. And, and again, the one thing I don't want y'all to stop doing is sh show love because there's people that's less fortunate than you. Absolutely. You know, a guy walked past 12 of us sitting out here at Doolin's, man, and he asked everybody if they can get a dollar so he can just get something to eat. Mm. And, and by the time he got to me, I'm like, damn, I don't have no cash on me. How so many I was people like, was it? it was about 12 of us outside, you know. And I was like, man, what, what you, you want? You want to eat from here? And he was like, you really, really I want to go to McDonald's. I'm going to get a full meal. So like three, four dollars can get me a full eat meal good, for the dollar yeah. menu. And I was like, nah, we're going to eat here, man. I'm going to just tell her what you want. And I'll pay for it. He looked at me like, really? Bless you. Really? Yeah, yeah. So listen, act of kindness should be random, but it should be consistent. You know, if you're just looking out for people you care for, I think you miss your blessings. Mm. You get blessings when you look out for people you don't even know. Absolutely, you know. I, I, I'm a true believer in that. Yeah, absolutely. So I want to say, all to all the artists, MCs, whatever you do, firefighter, policeman, just love what you do. You know, what I'm saying, love what yeah. you do. Good, good energy out, and it comes back 100. percent Let's go. Sure, people. Like I say, you can do bad at doing something you don't like, and they can kick you off the job. You know what I mean? You doing something you do not like, and they still kick you off the job. Like, how did that feel? So you might as well do what you love, people. Pretty much. And commit. And commit to it. Go raw Gas slide mask, try go. people. Stay safe. Eat your vibe. Eat your vibes. <laughs> eat your herbs. <laughs> vibes. Eat your herbs. Please eat all your herbs, people. High immune system is what we're looking for. You got it. What you taking? I'm taking a lot of stuff, man. I'm taking a lot of vegetables and, you know, uh, ginger, good, lime. Good, good, you know, well, yeah, I'm, vitamin C, vitamin D. yeah, I'm doing vitamin C, a thousand milligrams a day. I'm doing my echinacea, my golden seal, yeah, my organo yeah. oil, my zinc, my vitamin D. Man, See, I, 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 I'm on. I just, I, I pair, I just yeah, got I'm this on. new Actually, stuff. Y'all got to yeah. try it out. I got this. We finna end, people. But I got this new stuff. Y'all got to try it out. It's called the pelvis thrust. It works perfect. It's when it's the exercise that you know what I mean. It works great. We out of here. We out of here.
Yes, Master Jack. That's it, Jack. Out. Peace out. Peace out, y'all. It's all cash. Ain't no Billy J. This is for the ones who say we will make it. This is for the ones who say we will take it. Never let you down. You the real reason. This a billion dollar smile. Never came easy. This is for the ones who say we will make it. This is for the ones who say we will take it. Never let you down. You the real reason. This a billion dollar smile. Never came easy. My eyes sitting low, smoking on some cake. She rides sitting low, loaded up the tank. Ain't man any hater, make him all the rich. She ain't got no paper, so there is no case. Pay, payback is a real bitch. I'm an outlaw to the president. Black skin, that's melanin. Yo, girl, love her dick. Ride her out of my London house. Feel good when them tits out. She loves to make love outside. This the life that I dream about. Smoke lungs and my lungs high. Dad